So um, today I'm gonna do. It's not like a tutorial makeup video. I'm just gonna record getting ready to Ultra Miami makeup. Um, today my outfit is all in black, so I am gonna do a makeup that is gonna fit that outfit. So if you ever or you have a lot of festivals or music festival coming up and you want to have some makeup tips then keep watching so I'm gonna apply primer first the primer I'm using is Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer this one is always the perfect one for primer Um, the foundation or well, since I did spray tan so I have to change my regular foundation to like the temporary um, um, like darker um, color foundation this is from Sephora so check it out yeah it's like just like a regular foundation I like I used to um, like very pale skin that's because I was born and raised in China and then in there like the whole Asia like Korea Japan China um, girls prefer like white skin like pale skin oh who was that <laughs> that was my friend Gustavo on yeah, so like in Asia in general, people like girls like pale and white skin. But after I moved to the States, I realized like tan skin could actually be very, very, um, looks very pretty, healthier, and then it can actually show on, um, if you get tan on body, it can actually show the muscle line. So yeah, I, I kind of like it. Next, I'm going to do um, concealer. Okay, so the concealer I'm going to use is for a nest. This one's on my Ulta favorite because it's, it's like I give you a very good coverage. Okay, you could do like under eyes and then the bridges, uh, the bridge of your nose, and a little bit um, here, and a little bit here. Also, I like to do it at here, so it's kind of like um, lightening this area because this area is usually dark. And the color that I use for concealer is like um, two level, two colors lighter than my foundation so you can actually lighten in your uh, dark circle. The setting powder I'm using is from Lauren Mercier too. They usually call this one baking powder. I really like it because it gives you a very very stable makeup setting. Next step, I'm going to start drawing my eyebrow. Oh, actually, so I usually shave um, my eyebrow to like a very little thing shape. So later it's easier for um, people to actually draw it. But like if you without makeup, people will usually say that you look so different just because of like the eyebrow is different it can actually change the whole feeling of people see you the um, eyebrow pencil I'm gonna use is from 3, um, 3CE this is from the Korea style none that I bought it online yeah so the 3CE brand is like my I really like this brand's makeup because they're like 
made for Asian people. So like this um, eyebrow pencil is super, super, super slim. So it is like 100% easier for us to um, draw the eyebrow. Today I'm gonna draw like a very harsh shape eyebrow just to match with my outfit. I usually um, just draw like a very very simple like a very plain line but today I'm gonna draw like a very American people call it West like harsh this like harsh angle right there. So that's why I'm saying that this eyebrow pencil is very good because it's super slim that easy for you to actually just shape the eyebrow. With eyebrow, without eyebrow, like <laughs> it's so different. It actually changed the whole look of the face. Amazing. Next, um, is the most important part, which is eyeshadow. The one trick I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use lipstick to draw the eyeshadow, which is give you more strong color. Because usually if you use um, just regular eyeshadow, there's nothing like very shiny or bright. But if you use just lipstick directly, it's going to be very good. What I'm going to use today is this three. You guys can see it. It's the sky blue and the dark blue and the purple. So I want to mix them together and then try to make like an ombre effect. First, I'm going to use this color. And I'm going to draw this color at my um, inner corner of my eyes. And then include a little bit inner, like lower. Inner color, I'm just finished applying this dark blue. Yes. So it's like a basic start for the ombre uh, eyebrow. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not ombre eyebrow, eyebrow. eye <laughs> shadow. <laughs> and the next color I'm gonna use is this um, dark blue. It's not navy, but it's like in between cobalt blue and navy. Okay, so we get a little bit, not a little bit, actually you need a lot to create like over a crazy style. This is the difference. And then you apply in like in the middle of your uh, eyelids. And then um, in between that, there's no transition, right? So that's why you test it on the hand and then you actually blend them together. Let's create like a middle color. The last color I'm gonna use is um, this purple to make the lightest the shade. No, I'm sorry, the darkest the shade. And then you apply to the end of your eyelid. Just this part. The next step is uh, we use um, actually eyeshadow to blend the color in to make it look more natural. So the blend color I'm gonna use is this um, this color, which is like a um, 
medium like light brown because it's it's a little bit darker um, than your skin so and then to create like a very very um, intense effect 3d effect you have to use a darker color which is like i'm gonna use this dark gray go ahead this is my another friend daniel <laughs> it's gonna be the last step doing my makeup which is i'm gonna apply the glitters before you're doing uh, apply glitter you should um, use the primer. The primer I'm using from NYX. The place I'm gonna do is here today. The glitter I'm gonna use is this color today. So measures my uh, eyeshadow. I am gonna just use the sponge. The sponge to apply it. And then you kind of like just do this. So all the place that you apply the primer, it will be stick on it. Today I'm gonna use this lip color. It's on Kayvon D2. I'm gonna use the blackberry color. Last step, I'm gonna use Lime Prime um, lip highlighter. This is gonna be amazing. Can you tell that? So crazy. Usually you apply on the, like, the middle of your lips and the middle of the lower lips. And the last step, I'm sorry guys, I told you guys so many times the last step, but this is, I promise you, this is the very last step. I'm gonna spray the setting um, spray, which is from Urban Decay Night Wear. So it's gonna set your makeup the whole night. And it's waterproof, so perfect. Look at the makeup. How cool it is! Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll show you guys tomorrow's makeup too. So I, I can't say stay tuned because it's not live. Um, just keep watching. See you guys.